Hi guys, it's Eileen here, and I'm just trying to arrange my camera on my iPads. It's <laughs> my iPad. <clears throat> so today I'm working on a challenge that Nikki had, <coughs> excuse me, um, done, and it was a fairy house with toilet paper roll. So I just cut the door out and I was playing with this, and I have my step stepping up. Um stamp or um, punch and that works pretty good. I noticed that um, some of the other punches won't work. So I was just going to do the same thing and just punch some holes out. Um, actually I'm not going to do the door. I'm going to punch some on the top because if we use a little light in there like Nikki had, I want some light coming through. So that's why I'm going to do many because I'm going to also I'm going to do many at the top like lots. So now this is what it looks like. I'm also um, I'm going to probably keep these. I'm also going to cover it with burlap, and I used another rule to measure out my burlap here a bit. I have oops, I might have cut it a little cricket. So what I did was I just rolled it on my thing of burlap because I want it to be a fairy um, house and in my mind because that's where our art comes from is our mind um, my fairy house would I would imagine it if, if it were to be a thing more natural so that's what I was looking around and I'm thinking more natural. Actually, I'm not going to use the Mod Podge for this. I'm going to use my tacky glue. So that's why I went with the um, burlap. Do you notice um, every time I'm on video, I'm on lost of words? <laughs> I can't think of names of things. So I am just going to go do that. So I'm just going to follow along with the design that basically changed up, of course, to your own thing, but I'm following the basic design that Nikki put out for us with the toilet paper, and then I'm going to have the roof. cone roof. So I'm just going to keep putting my Mod Podge all over. need to get another bottle. So I'm just going to actually use my paintbrush to smear my... If I sneeze in that, it's cough. Myself, too, have a cold kind of lingering. So I actually think I might sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me if I do. So I'm just going to paint this on. That might be a factor of uh, disturbance there. A sneeze or two. <clears throat> now as you can see I went right over the door which is fine now I'm just going to cut my edge of my burlap right here down to try oh, some of it on the top here didn't quite match it went in too far but just to try to make it look good Any spots or corners that you missed, especially if you have a door or something, you want to make sure you get the edges. And I'm just going to cut, if you cover it with paper or anything, just cut around and then you can fold the paper under. So I'm just going to put glue directly on the burlap because it's not even, so 
it's just going to go down how, how it is. Maybe it won't even go down. <laughs> On the door it will because it's the longer pieces, which is nice. Um, and then the rest I could just cut off. So, which worked out really nice because the door at least fits really perfect. And I'm just going to cut around the door. I already have it cut, so I'm just following along the uh, door. I'm just letting the scissors kind of lead me on that. Don't go any further than what is there. So there's the door that I have. piece of burlap over the little space that I kind of let that little wedge perfect cut the top Now I'm going to make some paper flowers and all that kind of stuff. I haven't made any ahead, um, so I might have to just kind of, I don't know, maybe make it as I go. Um, I have the roof I want to put on as well. I had cut up cardboard. <coughs> put this away here. I had cut out a piece of cardboard, and I'm just going to do exactly what Nikki did. And... I made a slit in the circle and then put the roof on, just like that. So I'm going to use my hot glue for this. And that's what I'm going to do. Now I've got glue sticking everywhere. I'm going to hold it for a few minutes because it's really, really hot. And I don't want to unglue. So. And this is just going to go down here, like that. So that's kind of cute. <laughs> now I want to put, uh, I don't know, this um, moss, a little moss on there. So I'm going to put that on there as my next point. Um... Before I do that, I'm going to add a little bit of ink, because I'm not sure what I'm doing with my roof yet, but I want to add a little bit of um, shading, texture, visual texture, to it. So I'm going to add a little bit of the brown ink. And you could even add some to your... Oops, I'm getting burlap pieces in my ink burlap. It's going to look good. More dimensional, too. We have shading around. And the door, don't forget the door. If you, it just pronounces it more. I think, anyway. There we go. Cute. <laughs> Could even add a little bit of black. And now you have the dark brown, and the brown and the black, and it looks really nice. A lot of this is going to be covered, but it's okay because whatever shows is going to have a nice so right here where the other, the door hinge would be. I'm just going to add a little bit more black there. 
just ones like that. So, <clears throat> now, <clears throat> sorry about my voice. <clears throat> Although it's always quiet, probably more quiet now. I'm going to make you put some of this. Um, grab some of it and snip it. And I just got this at the dollar store. This is that moss stuff. And it's been really cute with, um, there's a lot of things you could do with it. So it's pretty cool. And I'm just going to put a, a little bit up and over in this area here. I'm going to make a little pencil mark on the inside of my roof. Not to be too precise that I'm really worried about that, but just to kind of, so I can kind of know where my boundaries are for gluing. So I'm just going to add some glue to the edges and add some uh, all this stuff, and I could trim whatever I want after the moss. Make it look, I don't know, more natural. We'll see. You could put feathers on it, anything that you know that a bird would use or whatever for making a home. Um, I've got little shells here that I'm probably going to add to it. So, I think that's cute. And there we go. There's the. See, now I have that boundary of where I can stick my thing and it'll glue pretty well in there. So now I'm just going to put glue more or less on this part here. Gonna be some little web action there, but that's okay. And that's our house so far. Okay, so that is all good and dandy, really cute. I want to go around the edges on the bottom as well. At least in some places. I don't know if all places, but we'll see here. I'm gonna try to pull some of this apart, make a big string of it. And go around the bottom. It doesn't matter if you go up a little bit because it's just going to be, it's going to look natural. I think, I'm not sure if I will go over the door. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just go up the side of it here like a vine. It's kind of neat how this piece is going. So I'm just going to use it. This piece is kind of like viney. And there that is. That's cute. Cute as buttoned. Pile on the glue there. And I have a whole bunch of pieces here. Little pieces. And whatever doesn't stick will pull off. I don't mind. I got the webs. So Whoa. Stuff is everywhere. So that is it so far. I have some shells now I want to add to it. And I think I'm done with the the moss. Wow, it's everywhere now. So I have my bag of shells here. And I'm just going to go through it and I'm not sure. Oops. I'll probably use some. Um, I need a little door handle on my 
um, thing there, so I'm going to put a little door handle. This is a nice little shell, and I'm actually going to use even pick it up like this. I just use my fingers. I'm pretty used to getting burnt anyway. And throw that on for a door handle. There we go. That's cute. Yeah, so I'm just going to add a few little details here and there. Of shells. Not too over crazy I don't think because I just want to look cute and natural and that kind of thing. And I think Cora will go crazy over this. So she likes little miniatures. So there's a few more pieces. Go around the back. I might make it almost like a little garden of pieces here and there of shells. So I'll do that. Which looks really cute. Drop blood. So that's very cute. That glue's not really sticking too much anymore there. I'll add a little bit more to that little shell. But there we go. here on this vine. It's a little warm. Now I think it looks really just cute. And I'm going to put these shells away. Okay, so this is it. Um, i got all these little webbies here. Got to look at it, see if there's anything else we want to add. I do have little plant life. I don't know. I might just try a couple, see how I like the looks of it. Here and there. That might be a nice little touch of color. So I'll just try a couple here and there. And play with it. You guys can go really shabby chic with this too and um, have laces all over it and that kind of thing. That'd be really cute. <clears throat> so I'm just playing with it. This is a great little project um, that Nikki done. And you can just go anywhere with it. I like that. As far as you want to go, you can continue making a whole village of little fairies. houses or whatever you want to call them. So that's cute. It gives a little more color. So I think I'm going to add more to the bottom around the Like I said, there's no wrong. So this is a pretty cool project. You can just play. It's a play project. I like it. I never would even... I'm not one to do these kind of little things like this, so I'm glad for this challenge because I wouldn't have done it. So... 
I think it's pretty cool. I just gotta figure out how to. Oh, well, I guess the glue's not showing too bad. A little bit of color there. That's it. So you can make paper flowers and add them. And I think this is enough for me. Now I have my little lantern here or light source. And with the I'll turn my light off over here. I'm gonna turn my other one. I'm gonna have light in the room, but it's gonna be very dull. And with the um, holes that I made in there and the door being open a bit. How, look how cute that is. And I'm gonna hold it up. Could probably make a little paper bottom too, but I don't know. So there's the door. Of course, there's a lot of light coming out, but look at that. Isn't that cute? So the holes that we done that Nikki had put in there for windows really look cute, especially if you have like lace or burlap or thinner cloth covering it a bit. It's like a peekaboo hole, you don't know it's there. That is really cute. I probably should have done one in the door. I was going to as well, but I'm like, mm. Alright guys, okay. I know I was like done, but of course you never done. Never, 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 never. I added one of these paper butterflies on here, these layered paper butterflies I got in a butterfly swap at the beginning of our group here, International Crafters. And I added it to the back, and I thought that was really cute. And I added some black, brown and black ink, and I kind of squirted um, my homemade alcohol inks all over here a little bit, so it's drippy on there. And I and I cut a scalp, scallop, whatever piece here, just to place, just as a base. It's not holding anything, but it's just as a nice base. And then. It looks nice like that, I think. And then the butterfly is really cute, so it's got that grungy, natural look, and I like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to add some. I found um, this plastic evergreen piece. I might add a few um, pieces of that. So I might just hot glue them here and there, the pine needles. Add a little bit of green. Probably cutting way too many, but I'm just gonna put my I can add a few here and there, so just like that. Like I said, there's no wrong. I think that one was backwards. It looks natural. Um, it's not, but it looks natural. It's plastic, but I mean, you can collect stuff, natural stuff too, outside and make your own little fairy house. But it's got that little, just a little touch of green in there that I like popping out. You can even have like pieces of pine cone, um, acorns, that kind of thing in there. I think that would be cute too. That is very cute. Actually, I'll just leave that going. So if you could see the green kind of popping out right there, that's cute. Reminds me of that movie, um, I don't know, 
the kids have it where it's little people living um the borrowers that's it and they would make their houses out of like natural things that is cute the borrowers the kids like that little movie there's a couple of different ones Anyway, I'm probably talking too soft. You guys probably can't hear me. Ah, there I go again. But I think that might be enough green. Um, a couple pieces up here. Sticking out would be nice. And it's kind of like if you were thinking, like I was just thinking about what on the movie what they're using to protect themselves and all kind of these little pine needles would protect them from some kind of pesk that would be bugging them that would be a pesk to us a predator to them a predator for them they're so small okay I think it's enough green I love it here we go again Quick look at it all the way around now. See the little green spikes coming up of the pine cone, or the pine needles. Of they're false pine needles, but they look real, so it was pretty cute. Um, the ones up on the roof. So I think I'm done this project now. Thanks, guys, for watching. This time is for good. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye bye.